So, in his effort to research the role of a Formula One driver, Sylvester Stallone showed up at some guy's racing school. Next up, how did he do? How did he look behind the wheel? Another subject here. Sylvester Stallone has been attending your driving school. How's he doing? Well, actually, he's about to make a movie, as we know, and according to him, the movie has come along very well. Shooting is expected to begin next year during the Formula One season, and uh, I think it's going to be released maybe around the U.S. Grand Prix in the year 2000, if we have one. But to get ready for his role as an F1 driver, Stallone thought he could use some lessons at a driving school. Like with Rocky, uh, I really didn't understand perhaps what a boxer went through until you took a few punches and spent some time in the ring. And then racing, you know, a lot of people never get the perspective of what it's like inside the car. So he put Stallone inside the car and taught him about the fundamentals of race car driving. He was a very quick learner. He absorbed everything and asked a lot of questions. When he was out on the track, he was very aggressive. It was obvious that he was trying to muscle the car around and we tried to get him to work on his finesse. Once he was able to do that, he started to get a real feel for the car and what a driver needs to do to go faster. The driver himself has got to be absolutely at one with the machine like, like I never would have imagined. I can understand why this can be um, perhaps a true addiction and obsession. A lot of people say it's better than sex and I have to say I'm really on the fence about that right now. Now, later this month, we're going to put uh, Stallone into an Atlantic car, Bill Fickling's car. Then on December 10th, he's going to go to Monza and drive Jean Lacey Sauber.